And now, Main Web News. It's a tough economy right now, and high fuel costs threaten to break a lot of budgets this winter. But some Mainers aren't feeling the pinch as much as most, and that's because they're taking advantage of free energy stored in a giant solar battery known as the Earth. Geothermal energy systems take advantage of the Earth's natural heat. Here are some basics of a geothermal energy system. In Maine, it's a lot warmer in the summer than it is in the winter, but the temperature of the Earth beneath the surface doesn't change. It is constantly close to 50 degrees all year round, acting as a giant solar battery that captures about half of the sun's energy. A geothermal energy system uses the land you already own to heat and cool your home for less. First, large drills bore holes into the Earth 300 to 600 feet deep. The holes are filled with pipes, and heat from the ground is pumped upward to heat the house. What I've figured is that the cost of my electric bill has gone down because the geothermal has cut that by a quarter. Um, the hot water heater was what was making my bill, electric bill so high, so the geothermal has replaced that. Geothermal uses no fossil fuels, so it is clean energy and a clever hedge against rising oil and gas prices. Pine State Drilling has been a main owned and operated business since 1969. Last month, lead driller Chad Grignon was featured in Waterwell Journal. Recently, he sat down with Maine Web News. I started in Pine State Drilling when I was in eighth grade uh, as a shovel operator, digging ditches by hand. Um, made me, the built the character in me today who I, who I am. Pine State Drilling now specializes in geothermal heating, an abundant, clean, and renewable resource. The mantle temperature coming up through the ground helps uh, stabilize a temperature of uh, anywhere from 47 to 55 degrees in the state of Maine. And uh, that will always be there. Um, we have no issues with any carbon emissions or uh, relying on anything that's going to um, replenish that. This is where the ground source heat pump borehole is. As you can see, there's nothing to see. It's under the earth, buried about five feet down. The pipes uh, go 500 feet into the ground. And uh, we're using the earth's energy here, and we're getting about a 48 degree entering water temperature right now. If you're thinking of taking advantage of geothermal heat, it's wise to start with an energy audit to see where you might be losing heat. So we want to take in what we call, um, get the low hanging fruit to start. Um, could be simple things like um, a little more blown in insulation in the attic, um, some window issues. Um, we're finding that exposed concrete in the cellar is very bad. Um, there's a lot of fuel savings to do spray foam. Pine State Drilling has already installed a geothermal heating and cooling system at the University of Maine at Farmington. These efforts help the school be recognized by the United States House of Representatives for making a clean energy campus a reality. UMF says that Pine State Drilling's geothermal heating and cooling system saves about $60,000 a year and 325 metric tons of carbon emissions. Chad believes they can have the same success working with Maine school districts. And we're offering a uh, kind of a, a utility to the school for geothermal. Myself and Next Energy and FMG um, will go in, we'll do a um, analysis on the school, we'll look at what the ECMs are and straighten out all the energy problems. Madison High School has taken some important steps to save energy and now is considering a geothermal solution. This here is a clean burn energy system um, and it is a waste oil furnace that we installed last year, actually I believe last April, um, and as a means to save the district money from the cost of oil. This building used to be heated 8,000 square feet by one system at a huge expense to the district and we are still collecting our data, if you will, at this point in time, but we believe that we have, um, next year we've budgeted for the bus garage half of what we did two years ago for our oil. A geothermal project can also be a great teaching tool for students. The students will have a chance to learn about economics of energy. We're looking at putting a screen in there and showing, um, uh, kind of doing like a study where the kids and families and parents can go in there and see um, the money they're saving. Uh, this, this screen will show, uh, you know, reduced carbon, uh, how much energy that the unit's consuming, how, where the school's at. 
The money Amanda saves with her geothermal system is money she may be able to put into other important projects. I'm hoping that I'll be able to save enough money to put a new roof on the house. <laughs> and not having to rely on fossil fuels has actually been really nice so far this winter. Hearing everybody in the way the economy has gone, um, hearing everybody in the workplace complain about how high oil has been, I don't have to feel that pain anymore. Um, this year is looking like it's gonna be a big year in the state of Maine for Pine State drilling with geothermal. Just how fast the geothermal trend will spread in Maine, no one knows. Iceland now gets almost all of its power from geothermal energy. I'd personally like to spend some time at one of Iceland's famous geothermal spas, but I digress. Back to the cold, harsh realities of Maine winter. If you're looking to cut back on fossil fuels, lower your carbon footprint, and save between 30 and 70 percent on your energy and heating bills, you might want to get on top of this geothermal trend. Keeping you up to date on all the new innovations in clean energy, this is Jared LeBlanc with Maine Web News.